and welcome back. Today I want to give you a little insight of what it what it's like to work with a design professional who will do renderings for you. So right now I'm currently working with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Client. It's a whole entire house project. Their main bath and their powder room is finished and there was a little video on their little project. And now we're on to the master bath. So the master bath, the, the instructions are, we want it to be spectacular. Well, of course, who doesn't want their ensuite to be spectacular? So their situation is a little bit weird because they've got a shower tucked in the far back corner and you'll be able to see some of the before pictures. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the before pictures, I didn't pick up anything. They had towels that were drying, they have stuff on their vanity. So those are unedited before pictures. Um, so right now their shower in the back is a little bit tight and it's tight with the toilet as well. And so with allowing me to steal 12 inches from an adjoining closet, we'll be able to make a bigger shower. They like a nice standalone bath. So the conceptual renderings all are dealing with space planning and function. So although I've put in cream colored cabinets and I put in a certain type of tile on the floor and I put in a certain standalone bath, all of those are up for discussion. So we might end up going at the very end with a darker cabinet, different tile. But right now, the main focus of doing these conceptual renderings is for Mr. and Mrs. Client to get a feel of what it's gonna look like if we tuck their shower in the back corner and allow that privacy that Mrs. Client wants, or if we blow up that shower and go the full width of the wall and give a bigger shower that Mr. Client is looking for. So here are some before pictures some renderings and I did a little video walkthrough and I hope it gives you an idea of um, what it's like to work with a design professional who is able to do these things for you. So I hope you enjoy it.